My name is Pavel Čechal and I am a Vice President of uh, Operations of PBS Group, what is the mother company of the PBS. We have uh, several entities with a different uh, kind of the business, but the main focus is on PBS Volkabitech, one of the most important producer of the turbo engines in the world. We are producing the turbojet engines, what you can see behind me. On, on top of that, we, we have uh, several ad other applications for uh, helicopters and others what will talk more in detail our, my colleague Adam Vysotsky. Regarding today's signing of memorandum uh, between PBS and Ivchenko company. So uh, th that's a long-term uh, output of our cooperation and the first step of our long-term cooperation for the future. This is the first step of the license agreement what we follow to sign in the next few months. And this will be based on a cooperation uh, regarding the production, sales and technical development of the engines. So my name is Adam Vysotsky, I'm Product and Business Development Director for PBS Group. Our core products are turbojet engines which are displayed here on the booth. There are four engines on the booth which ranges from the power trust power category of 400 newtons up to 2200 newtons which is on the top TJ200. The smallest one is TJ40. On the left, there is our most modern PBS APU Spark 40. Introduce this APU actually tomorrow. And the, this is the newest APU of our production, which produces 40 kilovolt ampere of uh, electrical power, but also the bleed air. All the turbojet engines here are purposed mainly for unmanned uh, applications. The most unique point is the quality that we produce the engine with, and but also the legacy that we have. Turbine engines in PBS are produced for more than 50 years. And uh, during those 50 years, we took technology to the highest levels, which gave us the advantage of having the best uh, power to weight and power to diameter ratio compared to other competitors. 90% of the engines are manufactured actually by us, by PBS. We have a very wide portfolio of manufacturing capabilities in Czech Republic. Other components which are not manufactured by us are, uh, are supplied from Czech Republic. So 100% uh, of the engine is produced in Czech Republic. So you will notice that this year at the Paris Air Show, we are only showing military helicopters. Most of them are here, but you will also see some of our helicopters on the, the French Ministry of Defense booth. Uh, you will see the Tiger flying, also see the NH-90 on the NHI booth. What we're trying to show here is that uh, we have a lot of ambition on the military market. We have uh, unmanned systems, we have light helicopters, medium helicopters, heavy helicopters, armed options for all of our helicopters and that's what we're trying to show here uh, throughout the Paris Air Show. So right behind me here is an unmanned aerial system called VSR-700. So the VSR-700 is derived from a twin-seater helicopter, the Cabri G2. And what we've done is that we've turned it into a uh, UAV and uh, we are currently developing this program for the French Navy. We have a contract with the DGA to pursue studies and tests. So it will be uh, this version that we are showing here is a maritime version. It will be embarked on, hopefully, on French Navy ships in the future, or if other customers want to get it, it will be also available. This is 700 kilos maximum takeoff weight that allows us to carry three different payloads. We have a radar, we have an EOS, and we have an AIS uh, receptor. But we can also include different uh, other systems, like, for example, Sonoboys, uh, death charges and even um, a magnetic uh, anomaly detector. Automatic takeoff and landing system is actually working in that we can operate uh, at sea in different sea conditions. And the next step for us will be to test this system on board a French Navy vessel that should take place uh, later this year. We have the 145M. The 145 is one of Airbus helicopter's best sellers. It's an helicopter which has been used throughout the world for search and rescue, for emergency medical services, for uh, private aviation. And now we have the military version, which is also working very well. Uh, we're 
Okay. It's being showcased here with the Edge Force system. Edge Force is a weapon system that allows us to integrate all sorts of weapons. We have rockets, we have guns, we have guided missiles. The idea is you can turn this proven helicopter into a light attack platform and you can use them for a large area of mission. It's not just a light attack helicopter, you just take off the weapons and then it becomes a troop transport helicopter or such a rescue helicopter. So that's what we're showing here. One of the latest developments that we've done for this helicopter is to integrate the spike missile with the testing. So that's being done for a customer. We have um, a base of customer which is getting stronger and stronger. We have uh, the last one was Cyprus last year, but there's also that's Germany, Serbia, Hungary. Uh, and we see a real interest for the 145M across the world. A super medium platform, the 175. So the 175 is already flying in a lot of countries across the world, especially in the oil and gas market. And what we're doing now is we're offering a military version. The prime target is the UK where for the Puma replacement program. But what we want to show here, the main assets of the 175 is its very large cabin and also it's very long range. And now what we are uh, testing in the, in the frame of the, the UK Puma replacement program is different equipment. You will see military seats inside, there's the machine gun on the side. We're also integrating uh, equipment like EOS, self-protection. So all of that is being done in the frame of the UK program, but we think a lot of customers across the world could be very interested by the 175M. So right here we have the 225M which is the latest version of our famous Super Puma family. It's the largest, um, it's actually the largest military helicopter on our range with the NH-90. It has a 11 ton maximum takeoff weight. The one that you see here specifically is for the Hungarian customer. So it's been, the 225M has been quite successful throughout the years. It's been used by France, by customers like Singapore. Very recently, it was select, pre-selected by the Netherlands. What is specific about this version for Hungary is that they also chose to have the Edge Force weapon system. The last helicopter that we are showing here at the Paris Air Show is the 125. So the 125 is our best seller. There's more than 7,000 of them that have, been, that have been sold across the world. So here we're showing a military version. There are actually two options. You can either have the 125M with the H force that we talked about uh, with the 225M and the 145M. But also there's an, a new option offered by uh, Airbus Helicopters Inc., which is our US subsidiary, a new weapons kit, which has been developed by MAG. So that's called the AH or MH125 ARIS, a system which are very easy to fit on the helicopter. It will be very easy to switch from one configuration to the other. This is the first time that we are showing this offer here in Europe. French Ministry of Defense booths, you can see the H160M, which is the helicopter that has been selected by the French Ministry of Defense to replace uh, five other types of helicopters like uh, Alouette Free, uh, Gazelle, Panther also. It's a multi-role helicopter. It's based on the 160, which is our latest civil helicopter. And then on the NHI boost, you can see the NH90, which is very long range. It can either be available in the tactical version for the army or on the naval version for for naval forces. Uh, we're currently working on a new upgrade program for the Tiger, which is called Tiger Mark III, which is a very extensive um, program with new avionics, new communication systems, uh, new weapons that will allow the Tiger to be operational beyond 2040.